Today I'll be showing you how to import a file from Quicken for Windows into Quicken for Mac. We'll start out by opening Quicken up. And if you've never used Quicken on your Mac before, you'll get this window. You can either start from scratch or import a file from somewhere else. So today we'll be importing a file from Quicken for Windows. We just need to choose the file and I saved it in my documents folder here. So there it is. That's the file that I copied from my Windows computer. And now click Next. And then decide whether or not you want to use this Quicken file with a mobile device. If you do, leave it as is. If not, you can say don't use mobile. And then it just takes a few minutes to convert it all, depending on how big your Quicken file was from Windows. Now one important point to bring up here is that if you've already been using Quicken on your Mac and created a Quicken file already, then you're going to, oh, let's enter the password here. Okay, so like I was saying, if you've already created a Quicken file on your Mac, you need to import your Windows file into a new Quicken file on your Mac. If you just open Quicken to the file that you've already been using on the Mac, and then open a Quicken file from Windows from there, it will import all your Windows information into that current file on your Mac. So it will basically mix the two files together. So if you don't want that to happen, and you already have a file open on your Mac, make sure that before you open the Windows file, that you create a new Quicken file in the Mac version of Quicken, and then you can open your Windows file from within that Mac version of Quicken, and it will import all of your information. So this file that I'm importing was pretty big with a lot of transactions. You can see just over 5,000 transactions in the file, and it had some investment accounts, credit card accounts, checking and savings accounts, assets, loans, pretty much every type of account you can use in Quicken is in this file. And this is just a demonstration test file that I created a while back that I use for showing Quicken features. One thing you can do after you import the file over to your Mac is check and make sure all your balances match up. And as soon as that finishes, I'll scroll through these and check the balances. But one thing to make note of is that by default, in the accounts bar over here on the left, in the Mac version, it does not show the cents here unless you have changed that option within Quicken. So that's something that you might see that's different. Okay, so now as soon as you're done importing, it will prompt you to try and connect all your accounts with your bank so that it can download transactions. So you can do that or you can, you can skip that step. I'll make this window bigger here. So the big things, once you import your file from Windows over to Mac, normally it does not show sense in the Mac version. This is the default. So that's one thing that will be different from your Windows version. So as you're checking the balances to make sure that they're all accurate, note that this rounds up to the nearest dollar or down to the nearest dollar and does not show the cents by default. If you want it to, you click here, go to sidebar balance options and check show cents. Another difference in the Mac version is that the balances that it shows here are the balances for today. In the Windows version, it shows balances based on any future transactions that are already entered into the register. In the Mac version, by default, it shows today's balances. If you would like to change that, you can change that right here. You can either show today's balance or show projected balance or the online balance if you have transactions downloading from your bank. So those are the two big things to watch out for when you're checking your balances. I've imported two different files from Windows over to Mac, and all of my balances have been accurate as long as you remember to take that into account. All of my transactions imported successfully, all of my accounts imported successfully. One other thing I noticed when I imported over to the Mac version is that on one of my accounts, I had a lot of scheduled transactions in the Windows version, and I had closed that account or hidden it in the Windows version. When I imported it over to Mac, all of those scheduled transactions showed as overdue in Mac. As soon as I clicked on that account register, a window popped up and asked me if I wanted to skip all those transactions or ignore them or if I wanted to enter them all. 
So it handled that very well. And I was very pleased with the way it worked out. Everything else worked out fine. I was quite pleased with the way it transferred the Windows data over to Mac, especially considering the file that I was using was such a big file. I think my biggest file was about 51 different accounts, including all of my savings goals, retirement accounts, and so on and so forth. One more thing to check is the net worth down here. And just remember, like I said before, the Mac version may or may not be showing that number based on either today's value of your accounts or the projected balance, depending on what you have checked right here. And then one last thing to note, on any investment accounts, the balances might be slightly different based on when you updated the security values, the underlying securities in those accounts in your Windows version versus the Mac version. And as soon as you import the file over to Mac, it will automatically update all of the security values based on the current time. So it will download those for you. And one final thing I forgot to mention with the import, the one thing that did not import over was my budgets. So I had several budgets set up in the Windows version and none of those budgets imported into the Mac version. This file that I just imported, if I click on the budgets tab here, you can see that it's prompting me to create a new budget. There is not already a budget in there. That budget did not transfer over from the Windows version. But all of my transactions, all of the important stuff is all here, all accounted for. So nothing else is missing. So that is it. And you can watch my other videos showing an overview of Quicken for Windows where I go through all the features and I also have one for Mac showing all the features that are in the Mac version. So if you want to see more about what all these tabs and everything do and how to use Quicken, you can watch those videos. Thanks for watching.